Well, hi. Um, my name is Mark Graham. Uh, I manage the Wayback Machine uh, at the Internet Archive, headquarters in San Francisco. In addition to the Wayback Machine, I manage a project uh, working with the Wikimedia Foundation and uh, Wikipedia communities all over the world called Turn All References Blue. So the goal of the Turn All References Blue project is to help make Wikipedia more useful and reliable. Um, focusing primarily on the citations um, that are added to Wikipedia articles that justify claims that are made. So these citations can take many different forms. They can be a, a reference to a page in a book. Uh, they can be uh, a link to a URL to a, another web page where uh, maybe there's a news article. Uh, they could be a, a reference to an academic paper, maybe a YouTube video, etc. And um, I think, you know, one of the things that, that these uh, referenced resources have in common is they, they, they live or could live on the web, uh, accessible via a URL. And, uh, and if that's true, then something else is true, which is that they're inherently fairly fragile. Uh, over time, many of them will disappear. Uh, that's referred to as, as link rot. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, the, a company may go out of business, a government may shut down, uh, you know, uh, a, a media within uh, their, their government because of a change in political atmosphere. Uh, there may be a, a reorganization of, of a content management system and the links aren't maintained, for example. So there's any one of a number of reasons why things that are made available via the web over time may not be available. So one of the things that we've done as part of this Turn All References Blue project is we've, we've gone on now, um, well, actually 305, I can say today, of the about 322 uh, language Wikipedias that exist in the world. And we've run some software. So it's a, basically it's, it's a robot um, called Internet Archive Bot. And it goes through and it looks at every single article uh, and every single one of these 305 Wikipedia language editions, and it, it identifies URLs. And then it, it takes and it checks that URL to say, hey, is this still available on the live web? And if it's not available, then it looks in the Wayback Machine, which is this time machine of the web that the Internet Archive runs. And, uh, and if it can find a good archive of uh, what was available, um, at that URL close to the time and date that the edit was originally made on the Wikipedia article, then it'll edit the page and it'll swap out this bad URL for a good archived URL. So we've been doing this for, gosh, the better part of 10 years, and we, we maybe edit about 15,000 uh, URLs a day, and to date we have identified and fixed or rescued about 19.3 million um, otherwise broken URLs. So that's uh, more than 19 million links that if someone had clicked on them, they would have gotten a page not found or 404 error message. And now, almost every single case, they're gonna get an archive version of what used to be there. Yeah. So that's one dimension. I mean, there's many dimensions of this Journal References Blue Project. So one is basically just trying to has kind of, uh, it's remedial. It's, you know, after the fact, going in and trying to, to help uh, fix things that, that are broken. One of the ways we're able to do this is, is we, we archive material that's referenced on Wikipedia articles in near real time. So we used to monitor these IRC channels that had all the changes and parsed out the URLs and then went and archived them in the Wayback Machine. Now we use something called the EventStream API from the Wikimedia Foundation, and we get this, this uh, continuous stream of new URLs. So as that stream of new URLs comes in, we archive them in pretty much close to like a few seconds or minutes after they come in. And then we also look in all of those pages and identify external links to other pages and other resources, including maybe a YouTube video. And then we put that on a queue, and over the course of several minutes or hours, we work to archive those resources as well. That's referred to as a one-hop crawl. So as a result of this, we're archiving like about 20 million um, URLs a week that we learn about uh, through this feed of URLs that we get from uh, Wikipedia. 
So as a result of doing this ongoing archive, and we've been doing that for many, many years, there's a very high probability that in the future, any URL that has been cited, if it goes bad, we're gonna have a good archive of it. Yeah, so that's, that's one thing. In addition to that, um, we're, we're working to help make uh, more things in Wikipedia articles have a link to them that substantiate uh, a claim. Uh, and in particular, focusing on uh, books and academic papers. So one of the things about the Internet Archive is we, uh, we, we get and then we digitize and we make available a lot of books, about 3,000 a day. So day in and day out. So that's like a million books a year that we acquire and then we digitize and we make available. One of the principal ways we learn about books that we want to get, we put them on what we call our wish list, is, is if they're cited in a Wikipedia article or if they appear on a syllabus for a college or university course. So in that latter uh, case, we work with an entity called Open Syllabus and they've cataloged something like 700,000 syllabi from all over the world. And so we've gotten this really nice list of books. In the case of uh, Wikimedia, it's a similar kind of process where we've gone in and we've parsed through um, Wikipedia articles on all of the 300 plus Wikipedia language editions. So then we get this big list of books that we want to get, right? Um, and uh, we used to get them donated to us. A lot of them were donated by an entity called Better World Books. And a few years ago, uh, it was an opportunity for us to uh, purchase Better World Books. So basically, um, one of our donors uh, bought this entity called Better World Books and donated it to a sister nonprofit of the Internet Archive. So one of the Internet Archive's family of related nonprofits owns this business called Better World Books, which is one of the world's largest used bookstores. It's like a, basically a big online used bookstore that has an inventory of something like 30 million books. And as the books are coming down the conveyor belts, uh, they're being scanned with you know, OCR and such. And, and if, if they match the wish list that we have of books that we want to prioritize for Wikimedia, uh, then they, they are pulled off the conveyor belt, they, put, they are put into these boxes, uh, the boxes are put on uh, into shipping containers, and the shipping containers are shipped off to the Philippines, where we work with more than 100 people that are employed full time just digitizing those books. Then the books are put back in boxes, back in shipping containers, and brought back here to the United States, and, uh, and they're put in our one of our physical archives. We have uh, multiple of these physical archives that are filling up with shipping containers full of books that we've digitized. We're actually looking for uh, a new building because I think sometime in 2024, our, our newest uh, physical archive building will, will be full. So I, I can say that right now today, um, we have added, oh, and then, and then we take robotic software and we run through these Wikipedia articles and we try to uh, add links. So this is not like fixing a broken link. This is adding a link to uh, a resource available from archive.org. Uh, typically uh, a book we've digitized or an academic paper and adding a link uh, to those resources. In the case of a book, we try to add uh, a link that would go directly to a page in a book that is uh, connected to the claim that's made in the Wikipedia article. And we've added more than a million links to Wikipedia articles and uh, we're just getting started. Any, any more miracles you'd like to share? <laughs> you know, I tell you, um, we're just scratching the surface here. The, the, uh, I think, you know, underpinning Wikipedia articles of, of claims that Wikipedia editors make are references to material, secondary sources, right? This is kind of the secret sauce, or not so secret sauce, of, of Wikipedia. Like, why, wh why, why is it credible? It's credible because you can look it up. You can do your own research. And, uh, but there's a lot of opportunity, I'm going to say, to get better at understanding those citations, ensuring that in fact every single claim is backed up with a citation to a high quality resource. And, uh, and then there's uh, understanding what those resources are, like uh, writ large. You can do analysis to try to understand what kind of sources um, are being cited, etc. Unfortunately, there is no living database 
of citations from all of the Wikipedia articles. Uh, there's been uh, efforts to do that. There's a guy on, on the staff named uh, Liam Wyatt who put forth a proposal about this. It hasn't gotten um, substantial support within the organization yet. Uh, I still hold hope for, for that. And, but in the meantime, there's other people that uh, have been doing ex experiments, doing like one-off databases and points in time for, say, English Wiki. Um, and we've done some of the experimentation ourselves too at the Internet Archive. So we began building a, uh, a we call it the Wikipedia Citations Database, the WCD, uh, in part for our own internal purposes so that we could better understand how we could help uh, you know, add more links to, to, uh, to citations, et cetera. And um, in the course of doing it, we realized that, that underlying um, building a database of all the citations was having uh, easy access to the citations themselves. I mean, that, that just that may sound obvious, but it wasn't obvious at first. And, and when we actually began looking at the citations, I, I use the metaphor of a microscope, like taking one Wikipedia article and putting it under a microscope. And anyone who knows me or works with me knows that there's only one Wikipedia article that I always focus on. It's the Easter Island Wikipedia article, right? Because it's the best Wikipedia article. And uh, no, it's, it's just a really, it's a topic that is interesting to me. And, and a lot of um, how I prioritize work in my life is that if I'm interested in something, I tend to spend more time on it. Um, so anyway, I got the whole team like focusing like a microscope on the on the Easter Island Wikipedia article, and I think there's about 122 um, citations on that particular article, and they take the form of links to books and papers and web pages, etc. And some of them are broken, and and some of the citations are are missing. There's a reference to a book but you can't actually link to the book, for example. And then there's all this other material that is available in the literature for someone who knows something about Easter Island that's not even referenced at all, right? It's an, like a, a latent, it's an opportunity really uh, for people to go deeper and to make that Wikipedia article about Easter Island better. So that's what, that's what Wikipedia editors do, but what if there were uh, tools that could help them do their job easier? What if there was like a suggested further reading list, for example, and, and, and digital um, access to those resources? Now, some of this is available through the, uh, the Wiki, Wikipedia library program, um, but, um, but there's a lot of opportunity to, kind of, to continue to improve that. So we do have a tool, I call it the Reference Explorer, and right now, the Reference Explorer, it's a kind of an, an in-house piece of software uh, that will take a Wikipedia article and put it under a microscope and allow one to explore. Uh, so for example, the citation template. Is the citation in a, in a template? Uh, is it in a proper template? Uh, and, uh, and if it has links, are, are the links live? And, and you know, it's really about, about quality and it's about completeness. So, you know, bring it all the way back, uh, turn our references blue. It's a, it's a project of the Internet Archive associated with the Wayback Machine, whose purpose in life is to try to help make Wikipedia more useful and reliable.